telling you a little bit how this partnership started, uh, we have to go back a couple of years ago, like four years ago, when I uh, was finishing a project in Saudi Arabia. My client of Saudi Arabia, he um, he wanted to uh, actually he wanted to collaborate with an Italian company for uh, all the execution of the of the furniture pieces. So it was kind of like. Uh, a bidding process. The furniture came across the eyes of Dr. Carlo Maltini, who really fell in love with the pieces. And obviously he knew my work already as a designer and as an architect. And um, yeah, he asked me if I was interested to design something for Maltini and I said yes. Maltini always stood for me um, for this kind of understated, very elegant, uh, timeless Italian design. I mean, always it had this kind of architectural touch because most of the pieces were designed by architects at the time so and that's also something which makes them very different they have incredible beautiful iconic uh, pieces that were designed of the most iconic architects at the last year the brand was kind of like losing a little bit its direction and I mean they fell in love with my aesthetics and my work as a non-italian uh, architect but they really loved my aesthetics and I think that's just what makes it very challenging is kind of like this kind of Italian-Belgian infusion, but without, of course, ignoring the DNA and the, and the, the DNA where Belt Molteni always stand it for. And I mean, I understood very well um, what Molteni means to me. And I mean, it's actually this kind of elements of understated uh, chic, this kind of passion and dedication, commitment for designing pieces and designing space is something we both have in common and that's something which I want to show through my creative directorship through all the, the way through. Uh, I definitely didn't want to come up with a, with a showroom that is an, um, an artificial showroom like an open space where you just have you know all the pieces of furniture brought together and in a very commercial way. So I really wanted to uh, give an extra dim dimension uh, to the showroom, creating a kind of like, uh, like a home whatever you call it, where actually all the different areas are linked to each other as they are linked within a home, uh, working on double heights with a beautiful staircase, uh, working with a patio, with a secret garden, uh, to give extra oxygen to the spaces around, uh, making a relationship with the outside, so I mean open it up the spaces to the outside and bringing nature from outside inward, so I mean it's much more about experience and, um, a showroom more in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a domestic context and that's something uh, which I'm still trying and to work on more and more. So uh, the philosophy behind my creative directorship I want to show and bring over as well in the, in the, in the advertisement campaigns and also in the new catalogues and in the graphics. Uh, obviously it's also not only in the showrooms, I mean we're also going to bring this kind of concept back in the concept stores all over the world, the flagship stores. I'm just back from uh, Tokyo where we launched the first VVD home in Tokyo. So this is also, I mean, a, a very new step for them. Uh, we're going to do the same in New York, we're going to do the same in Paris and Milan. So it's a continuous project, but we're going to do it, I mean, very well studied, step by step and in a very consistent way.